So w- when people are listening to this, w- w- what do you want them to know that they're not getting from the American media and the corporate media in terms of this conflict that's going on right now? The Palestinian people are beautiful people. They're so kind and generous. They still believe in America. They still say, help, tell Biden, they, you know, help. They genuinely believe in this dream that we've been sold. And they are so pure. They're like loving. They just... What breaks my heart is that there's so many kids, you know, the population, over 53% of the population are under the age of 19. And so they have dreams of like going to college and school. And the other things, a lot of them finish college there, but they have no jobs. It's the highest unemployment rate in the world. And so what I want to tell people, we have to never give up on people's dignity. We cannot tolerate indignities. We cannot in, we cannot tolerate the otherness and, and the dehumanization and the demoralization of another people. The level of hate that I've seen recently, the level of racism. So for me, um, we have to change the image because these are civilians. They have hopes and they have dreams. And they and you know, again, like me here in the Bay Area, I have a lot of Jewish friends. Like my best friend is Jewish. We literally text each other every day. We're worried sick sick about each other, making sure that this is not gonna impact us or impact our work. Um, rabbis contacted me. You know, there are some people that are gonna use this as an opportunity to stop the interfaith work and dialogue. I'll be damned if that happens. We need the interfaith community to stick together mm-hmm. and make sure in addition to providing platforms to talk about not just peace, but working together, also teach each other how to desegregate our congregations. Many of our congregations in San Francisco, you have the black congregate churches and the Chinese church. And this, this is a really beautiful opportunity to do, to do right by our, by our communities and by our congregations.